Hello, I am Nitesh Pran from LabVIEW and Multisim. It is fourth video of the LabVIEW tutorial video series. In this uh, lecture, we will dis uh, we will learn we will work on some numerical based example. Okay, so what we are going to cover? Let's discuss about that. These are four uh, four to five basic program which I had uh, mentioned here. Uh, we will try to write a code for all this program and we'll try to learn so let's start so our first is the bar to pascal conversion okay bar to pascal conversion so right click in the front panel right click in the front panel and come into the horizontal slider pointer it would be a bar In place of you can take this vertical pointer also and give the name bar and burn bar is equal to 10,000 Pascal okay so here I am I am taking the gauss to measure the Pascal let's increase some size and Pascal. So I have taken one controls and one indicator. So from here I have taken these controls. So I have taken the control from here. Sorry, control from here and indica indicator from here. Okay, let's come into a quick draw and Okay, no, not like that. Also, it's not good. Okay. Now, right click here, come into the block diagram, come into numeric, take a multiply functions, and right click create constant and insert so how can you create constant first right click open the label right click here touch this node right click you will get create constant create control create indicator create constant 10 thousand now run the program when I will increase it when we will increase it for 2 it is 20,000 4 40,000 so it is a program for bar to pascal conversion in place of this you can write a small program like this you can change it you can replace it into the numeric controller and you can replace it with the replace right click here anywhere and replace and numeric indicator and bar and pascal you can write a program like this okay nice Let's go into the another example. Suppose there is a Fahrenheit. Right click. When you will right click on the front panel, you will get control palette. In the control palette here, you will get different kind of the 
uh, style different style like you can see here i am getting the silver classic okay so silver style in silver style i am coming and in the silver style uh, there is thermocouple here i am taking the thermocouple i can increase the thermocouple size also and i can take a silver meter we can write uh, we can give this minus 50 200 let's see change the okay and it will be another also minus 300 to plus uh, to till 100 let's see so thermometer is a kind of in, uh, indicator and the meter is also kind of uh, indicator both are indicators so but we need a one controller so right click create right click and come here and change to control change to control so it is control now okay so here i am going to set my fahrenheit this one is my f and here i want to measure display c f and c okay so f minus 32 so f minus 32 formula is f minus 32 f minus 32 multiply with multiply with 5 by 9 so here I am going to create a 5 by 9 so it is a multiply function but before that 5 by 9 so here create constant put 5 and create constant 9 5 by 9 okay it is 5 divided by 9 now make a correction run the program here I am going to increase the temperature near about 250 degrees centigrade here I am, I am going to set the value f is equal to 0 so centigrade here I am getting near about so to check the proper value I can open the de uh, detail display 18 minus 18 degree suppose it is a 100 minus 100 degree centigrade and this one is minus okay 400 degree centigrade plus 400 degree centigrade now here I am going to run the program and when I will increase it f divided by 32 no, f uh, minus 32 multiply with 5.9 now let's see how can I we can change it okay so it is my f to c conversion let's go into the another example uh, program and average of two numbers so it is a very easy program average of two numbers so right click come here take a numbers a right click take a number b then average functions for output so two input and one output and we know very well addition of two number addition of two number divide by And it is a formula addition of two number divided by two is formula for average of two number. Whatever the value here I will insert, it will give me the proper average for the two numbers. Okay, nice.
this program will work with the two parts in the first portion okay in the first this program will work with in a two parts the first portion will add two numbers and another second portion will divide that value by 2 and it will generate a output okay the first person will add two numbers and second function will generate will divide the added number by 2 suppose if i have if i want to if i want to uh, generate the average of more than two numbers means three number four numbers and suppose you don't have any idea you don't know how many numbers i have to okay how many numbers i need i need to use to get a average value suppose you have uh, some time you have 20 characters some time you have two, two characters some time you have 15, 50 characters so how can you do it so there is one beautiful concept and the concept is we know it very well we cannot store more than one value on a, uh, using a single indicator or single control here to display one value we are using only one con uh, controls but we know very well we cannot use more than one we cannot store more than one or we cannot generate more than one value at the same time from one controls so for that we need an array so right click here and come into the change it into the array when you will change it into the array so array will look like this then you can then now it's uh, now you can enter n number of value n number of value means here i am going to set the value 1 2 value 4 value 5 value 3 okay you can extend it and you can put other value also now we know very well there is a one beautiful program is here and the program name is add array element so take this program and is the and we know as i explained on the lecture number two we can add two number very easily we can add two number uh, sorry we can add n number very easily so you can say it is a addition of n number program yes it is a addition of n number program right now the another things how many okay what is the logic the addition of number and divide by the divide by the number of addition of number and divide by addition of all numbers and divide by the count of the element that is the form, a formula for your average so here we need to count so for that we have already one beautiful program so for that right click you have to press right click you have to come into the array when you will come into the array so you will get the array size you have to place the array size here then connect array size it will give you the indicator array size will give you the number of element number of element now next uh, let's go to the another uh, uh, step the final step is let's divide the sum of n number with the count of n number so it is average avg of n number it will give you the average of n number now you can see here the 15 divided by 5 so average is 3 if i will add one more characters here 16 17 18 6 6 divided by sorry 21 divided by 6 is equal to 3.5 
now let's go to the last example and the last example and that is the find the or an even number so for that let's take a numeric control using this numeric control will insert will give the input for odd number sorry will will give the number will enter the number and we'll try to find out the particular number is odd or even so what is the formula if any number will okay if uh, if we divide a number by 2 and the remainder is equal to 0 that means that number is a odd number sorry even number so here there is a very beautiful functions and the function name is the quotient and remainder as i mentioned in the lecture number 2 we will use this exam, uh, program so let's use the quotient and remainder functions using this quotient and remainder when you will divide it okay let's so here and lower section give the value 2 whatever whatever the value you will enter here okay uh, it will this uh, function will divide that value by 2 and if and only if the remainder will be zero then our number will be odd number sorry even number so how can i measure how can i measure and how can i find out the my particular number is equal to zero or not so for that there is a comparison palette right click come into the comparison when you will right click on the block diagram you will get a function palette first column third number comparison in the comparison in the first column third number first column second number equal to zero functions take it open the label now right click come here and take a indicator now if my num okay let's run if my number will even so it will glow if the number will off so it will not glow Zero is an even number. That's why my LED boolean is glowing, and one is the odd number. So that's why it's not glowing. Even, odd, even, odd, even, odd. How can we uh, generate a complete information the particular number is even number or odd? So for that, later we'll uh, see uh, when we will work on the string data type. At that time, we'll see how can we generate a complete information the particular number is odd number or even number. okay so please try on these examples please okay please uh, try to read this example and if you find this uh, exercise and these examples is good for you for your learning purpose so please like and leave your comment leave your questions on comment section thank you for watching this video